Hi, I'm Katie from Geoscience Australia. Have you ever wondered why river pebbles are round? Well, today we're going to find out. Here is a river pebble. Can you see that it's rounded and smooth on the outside? But it didn't start out like this. Thousands of years ago, this river pebble looked a bit like this. Have you ever seen a rock like this before? Do you know what it's called? You might have seen it in kitchen bench tops. This is a piece of granite. Granite is an igneous rock that formed deep underground. But how did it get to the surface? Over time, the Earth's surface changes. The granite is pushed up and then exposed to weathering and erosion. It's hit by wind and rain. And that starts breaking it down. We can do a little experiment to show how this works. All you need is some sugar cubes, a container that seals well, and a texture. I've coloured in some of my sugar cubes so we can see what happens to them when we do our experiment. These sugar cubes are going to represent this rock and this container is going to represent our river. So imagine that piece of granite has come to the surface of the earth, it's been broken off a big boulder and fallen into a creek or a river. We're going to put these sugar cubes into the creek or river. Now once it goes in the creek or river, that water is flowing along, moving that piece of granite. So I'm going to give this a big shake to represent that piece of rock tumbling around in the water. Now the more you shake it, the more weathering and erosion you're exposing that piece of rock to. Now let's have a think about what might have happened to that piece of rock. Let's make a hypothesis. That's a guess about what you think might have happened. You might like to write down or draw what you think will have changed on that sugar cube. Once you've done that, let's open up the environment, the river, and have a little look at what's happened. If we look inside the container, we can see those pieces of sugar that I coloured in, and we can see that they've changed shape. If we look at them closely, can you see that they've become smaller and more rounded? The corners have been broken off and the edges have been broken off. If we look at one that's been in here even longer, you can see it's become even smaller and more rounded, more spherical. But what about those pieces that have broken off the sugar cube? They're in the bottom of the container. In this case, they're sugar crystals. But in the environment, we would call that sediment. Little pieces of rock that have broken down off a larger rock that can be moved or transported by wind or rain. Let's have a look at what happens to granite. When granite breaks down or is weathered, this is what it starts to look like. And you might recognise this from your back garden. Granite is a very common rock in Australia. And all those pieces that have broken off the granite become sediments. Those little particles of material that can be transported by wind and rain. Now this is an activity that you can do at home. You might want to try it using different variables and testing different hypotheses. If you go to the Geoscience Australia website and the education section, you can download an activity sheet to undertake this activity.